Welcome to the uh, the Westin Miriandu Resort Maldives. Westin uh, Miriandu Resort Maldives in the uh, the Bar Atoll, Bar Atoll Maldives. The UNESCO uh, Biosphere Reserve, showing at the uh, the jetty. The beach here, the spa is uh, right at the top. That's uh, the uh, the seaplane uh, arrival jetty. So I uh, got here yesterday. Uh, yeah, so I arrived yesterday. The beach and uh, the Westin Miriandu Resort. And the uh, the bar at all of the Maldives is a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. Uh, I'll pay for a walk around. Beautiful resort, a lovely day. And, uh, I'll go for a walk around uh, the Westin place. I've got a, uh, an overwater. Uh, Overwater suite here, top of the uh, top of the shop, uh, 106, uh, top of the shop, sunset over water with the pool. So, uh, right up there is mine. It's the, uh, the western. Yeah, I'm in the overwater suite just up there. Uh, we'll come back to that one at the end of the video. We'll finish the video there, but it's uh, been a lovely day in the mall. It's a bit windy, but uh, we'll go for a walk around. These are all the, uh, the there's two sets of overwater suites. It's the ones on the uh, sunset side. Then uh, the sunrise side I'll walk you to is, uh, is on the other side. Yeah, so this is the, uh, the arrival jetty, the seaplane parks there. And uh, they pick you up and give you a welcome drink and uh, Take a drive around the resort and uh, so welcome to the West Inn and uh, yeah. So I'm top of the top of the shop there, yeah. Uh, sunset over water suite. I'm a Marriott Bonvoy member, West Inn are part of the uh, the Marriott Bonvoy family. So uh this guy's love the world over, shall we say? Alright, let's go for a walk. There is the, the resort is on an island, it's about 400 meters, it's not too large an island, you can sort of walk around it in 10 minutes. And they've got uh, overwater uh, facilities on both sides. Let's take a leisurely uh, walk around uh, in the sun here. Really well designed. I like the uh, the suites. The overwater suites are really nice. Alrighty, so uh, most of the action is uh, straight ahead. Uh, the gift shops, uh, breakfast, the main pool, it's a Japanese restaurant called the Pearl, it's all uh, straight ahead. Hocker is the uh, the restaurant uh, just over there. But, uh, just uh, walk you through here. Just uh, walked in off uh, the arrival jetty. Most of the action is at, uh, this is the sunset side of the island. Sunset, I'm right at the top there. So this is the sunset side of the island. So all the facilities are here. You've got the dive center. Let's walk to the dive center. We'll come back. It's the dive center. Uh, got the gift shops. Just there. Breakfast is in the island kitchen. And uh, this walk will do me at my tan a world of good. All right. Uh, there'll be a bit of humor in this video, I promise you. Uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, plenty of humor here. All right, it's a lovely place. You have to love uh, Marriott Bonvoy. Okay, so this is the, uh, there's, there's a couple of these, there's beaches on both sides. Uh, but yeah, so that's the entrance. Uh, 
we walk all the way out, but this is the sort of dive center water sports. Just through here. Just walk down the sand, see the, uh, the ships, the boats parked out there. Just uh, walk around the beach for a second. So all those will walk, uh, I'll show the, uh, all the facilities here. And then uh, we'll walk to the spa, which is uh, right at the top there. That's the spa all the way up there. It's the top end of the uh, beach. And then uh, we'll walk back to my villa. All right, 45 minutes. Nice wheels. All right, so welcome to the, uh, the Western Miranda Resort in the Maldives. Great place, you'll see. Around. Okay. So, main entrance. To get my mind uh, relaxed now. Okay, main entrance, gardens. Beach villas are all the way in the gardens there, which you can see. And uh, breakfast stuff goes in here. Somebody's selling his toys. This is the, uh, the lobby. The lobby is uh, it's just in here. Lobby. All your uh, checking and stuff. And uh, Rex is there, we'll take the scenic route because I'll forget uh, come the end of the video. Uh, we'll walk by the beach. There are several beaches uh, dotted around the resort. The island itself is like 400 meters long. It's not too large an island. It's very convenient uh, to get around. Yes, yeah, so that's your arrival jetty. Mine is the overwater villa right at the top there, 106. We had a great sunset. Uh, I'll, add all, I'll add in all the bits uh, like sunset and so on uh, after our walk all the way around the resort. Uh, but Westin are really good. Yeah, it's really, really good. So that's a uh, hocker. Let's uh, get back uh, inside and. Uh... Alright, bearings. Arrival jetty, sunset side of the island, Samoa right at the top, nice tree, and uh, going uh, this way. Then again, the main bit of the hotel now. There's a seven minute introduction. Just over here you've got hawker which is like Asian street food. Hawker is like Asian street food. That's what this place here is. And then uh, there's the beach on this side. Yeah, so this is Hokka, it's called H-A-W-K, a Hokka. You know, like hawker centers in Singapore, Lao Pho Sat and stuff, yeah. That one's the Asian street food. Uh, good food. Very well priced. 
food and resort. I will add. That one's right is the Japanese restaurant. It's called the Pearl. We'll walk there. And then, uh, Uh, we'll come back. Yeah, this is the uh, the Overwater Villas just up there. Way down the beach. Get our feet wet later. Yeah, so that's the Japanese restaurant. Down there. There's the main uh, hotel pool. Main hotel pool. There's people here, right? We'll just uh, look at this way. Right. Breakfast was on the left. I'll add in all the bits and pieces after we get to my room. Uh, there were people sitting there, so that's why I just kept the camera pointed this way. Uh, it's a Japanese restaurant, uh, it's called The Pearl. Um, yeah, I had in room dining last night. Uh, the food in the Maldives is brilliant, yeah. The fish, if you ever visit the Maldives, yeah, you should have fish. Uh, the fish here is the best in the world, absolutely no doubts. Uh, you can eat your whales in Japan, you can eat whatever, I don't care, fish and chips in England. I don't care, right? Fish in the Maldives is the best in the world. I had salmon and uh, tuna, salmon and tuna for dinner last night. Uh, totally the best, best food in the world. I think maybe because I was born in Sri Lanka next door, and uh, that's how I grew up, right? But uh, I think the food in the Maldives is the best in the world. Ask my mum. <laughs> All right. Well, Japanese restaurant. So we're gonna walk. Uh, so there's overwater villas on both sides. There's the beach on this side. We're gonna walk all the way up there. All right, and uh, we'll come back. And I love my Sony video camera. Well, Japanese restaurant. So my villa is, uh, I can actually see what's happening in the viewfinder, yeah? Standing in the chair. That's my villa right up there, yeah? 106, top of the resort. And uh, there's the beach here. Western Miriandu Resort, Maldives. Cool, I went for a swim. And the place. This is one of the nicer spots in the resort. All right, let me show you a pearl. It's not open for lunch. It's uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. It's now one o'clock in the afternoon. The fish watching. There's fish down there. The one is in my room as well. Uh, you can watch fish. We're in the bar at on the Maldives. Uh, it's a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. Uh, Hanifaru Bay. Hanifaru Bay is near. It's, it's got the highest concentration of stingrays in the world. Yeah. Hanifaru Bay. It's near here. They do snorkeling trips there for diving. The highest concentration of stingrays, you know, manta rays in the world here. The Maldives. They got one of the glass floors in my room. Um, you stand there for two seconds, you will see a fish, yeah? I'll show you when I get to my room. So we are people, the Maldives. That's a nice round here. That's the order of the four. We just walked uh, around there. It's been windy, that's the only thing, yeah, it's windy. 
Uh, July is the uh, the cold, uh, winter kind of season here. It's been hot and sunny, but windy. from Sri Lanka like me, yeah? We don't mind, uh... If you're used to the heat like me, yeah? I've tanned so much on this holiday, yeah? If you're used to heat like me, uh, July is like the winter season here. Uh, you'll save yourself a penny or two coming to the Maldives at this time. Because it'll almost never rain anyway, yeah? It's called the sunny side of life. Uh, then, uh... They rack up prices, you know, I'm not talking like 20... Dollars on their rack up prices, you know, two, three fold, yeah, through the through the year. Uh, especially with twice as much come uh, sorry, December, November, December time. This time it is. All right, Paul, cover that. Let's the sunset bar, then uh, we'll head to the gardens. There's people out here, let's go to the restaurant. That's the pool. We walked along there already. This is the restaurant for breakfast. It's the, uh, the restaurant for breakfast. There's people here. Uh, take up the uh, sunset bar. And now, uh, go for this one. Beach. Called uh, Island Kitchen. Yeah. All right, Sunset Bar is up here. Came here for drinks last night. Came here for drinks last night. And, uh, it's a very nice place. Got library and pool table. Who won Wimbledon? Wimbledon was, uh, I know uh, Lewis, Lewis, did Lewis win the British Grand Prix this year? You know, the mind is a bit of a blur, you only call holidays like this, yeah? I know England won the Cricket World Cup because we're staying at the Western, yeah? England won the Cricket World Cup because we're staying at the Western, but uh, who won Wimbledon? I think Lewis won the British Grand Prix, yeah, did he? All right, never mind. So Sunset Bar, hope this door opens. So just through here. Ah, they've locked it, never mind. Actually, I was there last night. There's the bar. Sunset, I saw from my room just there. Ah, and you see the oval water pillars. Alright. There's the oval water, I'm in the top one there. So, yeah, it's all the restaurant area. Did Lewis win the British Grand Prix this year? I'm just thinking, who won that, yeah? All right, never mind. I think we won the Cricket World Cup, we're at the Western, and uh, we'll continue with our walk. All right, back down the stairs. It's the ocean out there. Island kitchen. The seaplane. It's a seaplane. It's a 
it's like the shops area, this lobby. I'll show you at the start. We've covered this uh, area quite well. Palm trees. Okay, so most of the action is at this side of the resort, the, uh, the sunset side. My villa is over here. I'm going to walk through the gardens, and then uh, you've seen the beach and everything. We'll walk through the gardens. And uh, we'll come back. It's the kids' club where the kid was screaming his head off. The Western Kids Club. Hey, do you remember the kid screaming his head off? Do you know why? Somebody nicked his uh, toy. Do you know why kids scream their head off, right? Uh, you can throw them in the pool. Uh, Valtteri Bottas could beat Lewis Hamilton in the pole position in uh, Formula One. Uh, Sri Lanka could win the Cricket World Cup. And. Uh, Quite frankly, kids wouldn't care, but if you steal their toy, they'll start screaming their head off. Uh, should we continue with that theme? No, we won't, all right? Let's start talking about rubbish. Okay, so these are the gardens of the resort, like this. So I'm staying in an overwater suite. Uh, it's equal access to all the facilities, irregardless of room category. Equal access to all the uh, hotel facilities. You saw most of them there, yeah. They're on the sun sunset side. Um, flying fox. It's a bat. You see that? Yeah, so I'm saying an overall suite. Uh, it's equal access to all the facilities, regardless of room category. Just depends whether you prefer to stay in a suite uh, over water or in a beach. Uh, it's July at the moment. July time, July, August. Uh, it's supposed to be winter here. It's not actually winter. I mean, it depends on where you come from, whether you consider this winter. It's 30 Celsius. 30 Celsius, the sun is out, clear skies. Uh, it's actually winter here, okay? Um, so it's considered low season. Um, so if you stay in a beach villa, like these, uh, it's okay because during winter, the water's choppy. So I'm staying over water. Uh, the idea of water is when you wake up in the morning, some people go for a shower, like the western, some people go for a shower. You can actually just walk into the lagoon, into the ocean, and have a shower in the ocean, yeah? But that's only during the calm time of the year. During winter, like now, the water is very choppy and rough. So you have to have a shower the conventional way at the western. Uh, so the point I'm making is that uh, it's good to stay in an overwater suite, overwater, when you come here during high season. Uh, during this time of the year, it doesn't actually make any difference. I mean, it does because just how I many you watch see, when you see my room, you'll see what I mean. Okay, all right, walk. I'm just explaining. Uh, I had to book. I had to decide, right? I had to decide firstly which hotels do you stay at on this holiday. Six days in the Maldives. Uh, one day at one night at Niama Private Islands. That was good. Two nights at Angsana. One night here. Is that right? And one night at Bandos as well. Yeah. Uh, so you know you have to decide, right? You all then you have to decide the room category. And the prices are substantially different between resorts and room categories, yeah? Um, yeah, so you have to decide all that, right? So I'm just uh, advising you best I can based on my experience. Western is really good. This one, yeah, I've stayed at, uh, in this atoll, Bar Atoll. I've stayed at the Four Seasons Land of Jirawaru, Anantara, Kihava, yeah? Those are larger resorts in terms of land. But uh, as Oscar Wilde said, simplicity is the end result of all complexity. Western is really good for half the price. 
it's half the price of uh, Four Seasons Landed Jurawaru and Antarctic Harbour. It's really good, it's right up there. I like it here. Not to mention they gave me uh, pretty much the best suite uh, on the island, yeah. Sunset 106, we had great views for sunset and just ocean views. It's brilliant. Thank you, Weston. Thank you, Marriott Bonvoy. Okay, it's always with you at the Western. Past the people. All right, we just walked the other side of the resort through the gardens. I should talk about something, right? It was either this holiday or uh, Uncle Donald. <laughs> All right, Mary, uh, American hoteliers. So there's Uncle Donald. There's no Trump Hotel in the Maldives. Yeah, so this is the uh, Comfy Island Resort. This is where the, uh, the gym, spa fitness, uh, so this is the gym area. The gym area here. And then, so they've got some uh, overwater villas here as well. Overwater villas on this side as well. And then the spa area. We're going to have feet wet, yeah, don't worry. Later on. The spa area is uh, just up there. It's the Western uh, Heavenly Spa. It's the Western Heavenly Spa just up there. Beautiful day. Look at that. Yeah, so gym, workout machines upstairs. Uh, I've run 20 marathons around the world. I keep saying it, but I have. Uh, I've put on weight on this holiday as well. Yeah, six, five nights, six days in the Maldives. Maybe about two kilograms. Just show you uh, where we just walked from. So we walked on the island itself. There's beaches on both sides, so even if you stay in a beach villa, you can still uh, walk along the beach and do what you like. Nobody's going to kick you out. It's a cosy feel on an island in the Maldives, yeah? It's a resort map. It's a resort map. So I'm in the villa just here. We started at the jetty here. We walked around to the pool and all this stuff. Just walked all the way. Spa. Yeah, so we are. Right, I'll show you something around here. And then... Uh, I walk to a villa. I've got a hammock here. Go on Instagram, you'll see a photo of me sitting on that hammock. Yeah. So we're going to walk on the beach back, but we're going to walk the other side. I have to show you the spa first. Oh, I want to show you the spa first. The beach on the other side is better. Uh, it's less rocky and uh, it's just better basically. Let's walk to the end here and then you'll know where we are. I've seen one stalk here. I saw a stalk earlier, yeah. they just play around. If you know, I was at the W in the Maldives, the stalk followed me around the resort. And I was walking around, videoing around the resort, the W. The stalk followed me around. So Westin are in the Marriott Bonvoy, W's Marriott Bonvoy. Uh, where's the store? Come on man, follow me around. I need a bit of company here, right? So that's the Pearl Japanese restaurant just now. Pearl Japanese restaurant. I walked you to there, yep, remember? So we're not gonna walk back through the gardens. Uh, we'll walk back through the beach on the other side of the island, yeah? The other side is better, I think. And anything Mr. K thinks, five years later, the world acts on. It's uh, generally been the truth uh, for about the last 10 years, pretty much. All right, let's walk back, let's walk up the spa, and then uh, walk back to my villa. I think I've showed you everything. Uh, if anything comes to mind, uh, I'll just change course. The sand is soft, you slide off when you're walking like this on the side. It's people's beach for us to the left here, yeah? I think. Oh no, no, beach for the start further down. Yeah, the beach is much, it's larger on the other side, it's broader. And the ocean is, uh, it's not quite as rough. Unbelievable sight here when you see palm trees like that. Okay. 
we're gonna walk back the same distance on the beach because you need to see, you want to see my villa don't you yeah you want to see the fish through my glass floor through my glass floor yeah so overwater villas on both sides this is sunrise mine is sunset palm trees all over the place the sun all over the place clear skies all over the place the sand all over the place and uh, welcome to Maldives the sun the sand and the seas beautiful best place in the world I think yeah no doubts and I'm very happy I was born next door in Sri Lanka we are the same people all right Himalay Spa straight ahead uh, I think for brevity of time we'll walk this way it's a nicer walk walk along the beach I don't think you see much more there apart from the uh, heavenly spa sign but it's the western so people uh, go for beauty treatments polish themselves up make themselves look a bit uh, younger and uh, yeah so these are the, uh, the overwater villas on this side sun the sand and the seas in the Maldives and uh, we'll cut back through the beach Cut through the beach to uh, Shemwa, and I'm absolutely dripping with sweat. It's really hot, 30 Celsius, yeah. You know, the weather channel, I know, it's actually uh, true. They did say it was going to be 30 Celsius. Yeah, Heavenly Spa, why the Western? Alrighty, so about four minutes walking on the beach, two minutes to my villa, six minutes, seven minutes like that. It's not a large place. If you're lucky, you'll see a seaplane coming into land. He saw one taking off just now, yeah? That's the beach, yeah. We got our feet wet uh, near my place, yeah? It uh, makes the flip flops substantially heavier to walk with. These are like the beach fillers. See that one there? That's like where uh, Donald Trump or Lewis Hamilton would stay. Looks big. That's like where uh, Boris Johnson might stay. Then, uh, yeah, just walking on the beach. So get in. We're in the Maldives. Uh, this is like four hours on an airplane to where I live. I could like come here like for weekend breaks anytime I wanted to, uh, and I'm going to. But uh, you know, uh, the Western there, it's really good. Which Western have I said? So Hapuna, you know Western Hapuna, Hawaii, Big Island, Hawaii. That's the that's the most recent one I stayed at. Western Hapuna, Hawaii. I was there was in March this year, three months ago, four months ago. It's really good hotels, yeah. That one had a good sunset as well, sunset view. Uh, my villa here did as well. Uh, they're very sort of uh, Western, so they're part of the Marriott Bonvoy group. Marriott Bonvoy are uh, Ritz Carlton, St. Regis, Western W, Luxury Collection, all that stuff. Um, Ritz Carlton opening a new one in the Maldives, uh, Q4 2020. Q4 2020 Ritz Carlton opening one. Uh, you can mark down Mr. K. Uh, opening uh, month, I think, Ritz Carlton. The St. Regis here, I've said, the Marriott Bonvoys I've stayed at here are Sheraton W here. I think, yeah, maybe one or two others. Uh, but uh, St. Regis, I'm not too bothered about. They're a bit too formal. St. Regis, I've said at St. Regis, Bora Bora, versus, yeah, they're a bit too formal. But certainly Ritz Carlton, certainly if you're lucky, you'll see a seaplane. There we are, coming to land. See? The beach. It's not coming to land, it's just uh, it's a flyby. Uh, I honestly cannot see anything in the viewfinder. Yeah, it's really bright. Uh, it's really bright, I can't see. I'm not going to bother zooming. But there is a seaplane flying there. There's a seaplane there, yeah? I'm just uh, going with my trust in Sony video cameras. Yeah, so Ritz-Carlton are opening uh, 
This is already Q4 2020. I'm not really bothered about St. Regis. Uh, but I'm suddenly coming here to the Ritz Carlton. I was at the Ritz Carlton in San Nier, uh, about five days ago. So, uh, yeah, so anyway, Western. By the beach, I've talked to you about something, yeah? We're not doing this silently. But Charlie Chaplin movies. Charlie Chaplin movies, uh, silent movies. Okay, so the, uh, the end of the beach. Just the Western uh, Heavenly Spa there. So people go for uh, beauty treatments to look younger. And so on. And the beach. Yeah, we got a flyby. These are like the beach fillers. There's nobody there. Uh, I want to video this with somebody there, but uh, okay. So we're coming back towards the uh, the start. I thought the seaplane was going to land because the uh, the white hooded structure there, that's the arrival jetty. That's where my seaplane landed yesterday. And uh, this is the water sports centre. Alright, so we just walked around the island. Uh, we'll get our feet wet there. I'll tell you where we'll get our feet wet. Good walk, yeah? Just uh, shake my hand. Just hold my hand, yeah? This one. Hold the camera around like that, alright? Uh, Western uh, Maldives. Alright, we'll walk to my villa. Get our feet wet. Okay. Stand here for a second. The villa. This way. Let's uh, just walk around the resort. I'm sure, we're going to get our feet wet, yeah? Um, uh, just at the start of the Everwater Villa. So, that's the Sunset Bar. It's where the door was closed. I went up there last night for drinks. I went up there last night for drinks. So, once we get the room, uh, I'll show you all the stuff that I got up to here, like swimming in various swimming pools, the bar, breakfast. That's where the kid was screaming his head off, because... Uh, who won the British Grand Prix? Louis Hamilton. It's crazy, right? Yeah. Well, you walk through it once, we'll walk the other way. Yeah, so once we get uh, to my room, I'll cut the, uh, I'll cut the video, obviously. Uh, show all the stuff I got up to here. And then, uh, yeah, various pools, the Sunset Bar, breakfast, dinner last night, my pool. Uh, we had a massive thunderstorm here yesterday. When I checked in about an hour later, a massive thunderstorm. And it cleared. It's been like this ever since. This is where we're getting our feet wet. This is where we're getting our feet wet. Alright. See all the other water villas? I'm just up there.
and the western. All right, let's get our feet wet. All right, buddy, you want to play? Come on. So welcome to the uh, UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. The Maldives at the Bar Restaurant. All right, the feet are well and truly wet. We've got our feet wet in one of the best places in the world. It's the UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. Yep, done. Uh, those are my Niyama private island flip-flops. That's where I stayed uh, three or four days ago. Yeah, I like their flip-flops that I wear them. Ready, let's walk you to my villa. We've got our feet wet. The shorts too, yeah? The water suddenly got rough on me. Back to the villa. <coughs> yeah. Yep, water sports centre. Arrival for the day. The resort is uh, less than a year old. They opened uh, October 2015, 2018. Hi. Hi, hello, yeah, good, yeah, yeah, yeah. The resort opened uh, October 20, October the 15th, 2015, so they're less than a year old. There's a new resort in the Maldives. There's been a lot of new resorts coming up in the Maldives. Raffles, uh, Waldorf Astoria, uh, Intercontinental, Fairmont, uh, Mr. K. I'm going to Zola, yeah? It's called the country. Uh, and so on. Alrighty. That's the beach hunt. That's our buddy friends from England. And that's uh, the boat. That's uh, what we... my villa, just up here. Straight into the wind here, yeah, it's really windy. Let's turn my back to the wind. Yep, that's how we got our feet wet. when we get behind the villas, break the wind. Uh, the other issue about coming here in, uh, it's exposed here, right? The other issue about coming here July, August time is that uh, I booked to go night fishing yesterday. They do evening night fishing, so you go out in the water at night fishing, yeah? I did that when I was at the Sheraton, that's also a Marriott Bonvoy property. I caught a fish, there's a photo on Instagram. Uh, they had to cancel it because the weather's too rough. I booked to go parasailing here. Uh, I went parasailing at the Four Seasons Landa Jirovaru, that's also in the bar atoll here. That was during, uh, I think, summer. But uh, they cancelled that as well, yeah, it's too rough to go on the water, yeah. The speedboat engine cuts out, yeah, you're in the water. Uh, so, yeah. But other than that, uh, I, mean, I come here when I feel like it, right? I, uh, you know, I live like four hours in an aeroplane. Some people take four hours every day to go to work, yeah, there and back. Uh, there's no issue, uh, but uh, I'm just saying, there are pros and cons to coming here, like July, August. So I paid about uh, 850 US dollars, 850 US, I think. I get various discounts, you book with Expedia and all your points and this and that. It's about 850 US, I think, for uh, my billet. I think they're upgrading me to the one end of pontoon anyway. 
because uh, general manager, same name as me, I think. Uh, yeah, so you know, there are advantages and disadvantages both ways, but uh, you know, it's very nice. Uh, It was lovely as well last night, you know, I had salmon, tuna, curry for dinner, it was really nice. I enjoyed it, breakfast was delicious, and uh, yeah, Western are always great hosts. Alright, so uh, this is my villa just here. This is my villa just here, it's where the ocean is. We had sunset right there yesterday, yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, so this is Samoa, right at the top of the resort, 106. Give you a quick miss round, and then uh, we'll call it a day. This is uh, 106. Samoa. Alright, we've got our feet right there, get the sand off my feet. Stand this, this end the water already, I've done this before. Down like that. Okay, they're off the Simiyama private islands, chill and play, they've got two islands there, we only have one here. Alright, 106 at the western world is barefoot. Key card. That's the key card here, eat well. It's in my pocket. Alrighty. Willkommen. Immer Deutschland and willkommen to das Westen in das Maldivias. So uh, yeah, it's the place, it's my uh, villa here, after that uh, walk all the way around. And you get a, uh, uh, this place here, to show you the full, uh, it's a straight line. Well, they look curved when you walked along the, uh, the path. So uh, welcome to uh, Villa 106 at the Western Miriandu Resort, Maldives. Uh, I'm staying on uh, Show this here. There's the fish. Stand here. You will see lots of fish. You stand here for two seconds. Yeah. See the bar the barracuda there. The straight line one. There's two there. All right. I'm not gonna stand here and bore you, but uh, there are lots of fish here. It's why UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. And uh, yeah, it's the place. It's walking out the deck. It's the deck. You got a deck with a pool. Shall I show you? Who won the British Grand Prix for the third time? These are my Lewis Hamilton shoes, yeah, Mercedes. Who won the British Grand Prix this year? It's a blur. It is a total blur, but who cares? Alright, Western. Western Miranda Resort, Maldives. That's this place, you got like this. It's the deck. Bedrooms were here. Bathroom is through here. Sports fans, greetings. Sports fans, greetings. Uh, welcome to the uh, the Western Miriandu Resort, Maldives. Uh, if anybody knows who won the British Grand Prix 2019, that's also my uh, Lewis Hamilton Formula One shirt, Petronas there. Plus hanging. Uh, please answers on a postcard. British Grand Prix 2019, who won? Alrighty, it's the uh, place, bathtub, all this here, clothes drying, bedroom. Uh, the red boy is around the back here. Yeah, all the stuff here. So it's in the red boy. Blue boy's next to him. Sports fans. Western. Seen the coconut, you've seen the fruit. You've seen the view out the window. Uh, you've seen the uh, fish down there. Yeah? That's the view out the window. Bar Atoll, UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. We've got our feet wet at the beach. Lots of fish in the water. That's why they put a glass floor on the floor. Lots of fish in the water, yeah? One of that shark feeding at the Four Seasons, yeah? Uh, I went parasailing earlier, yeah? I might not have gone parasailing if I know about the sharks, but uh, I did. Seek and thee shall find. Show on Google Maps where we are. So that's the resort map. So I'm here, Mr. K. So it says Mr. K, that's my name. It is Mr. W. Uh, so we're here. That's the arrival jetty, that's the pool area, Pearl is Japanese restaurant, we walked all the way to the spa. It's the spa and then we cut through the beach. We looked at the hammock here, 
cut through the beach. Yeah, so you saw the resort. Yeah, and uh, Google Maps will show you the same picture. Put an Instagram comments. Uh, so that's where we are, right at the top of the resort. Like that. We're in the uh, Bar Atoll, about 80 miles from Mali Airport. I did that too fast, it doesn't matter. Anyway, that's where we are in the world. Alright, so I'm going to cut the video and show you some of the things I got up to here. Show you some of the things I got up to and then uh, say adios. Pick out the western side for you, yeah? Because I come from England. There we are, western. Mr. K comes from England. So I'll pick out the western side for you, alright? Love to the world. Alrighty, that's how we got our feet wet. Stop being silly. We got our feet wet. We got the neighbors and the fish. Of the bar at all, and the uh, same more, what's it called? Same more here, to the left. You can go snorkeling, yeah, but uh, it's too choppy at this time. Yeah, it's, look at the waves, yeah. You, you wouldn't stand at home. You just would not, so you get blown away, dragged out to sea, yeah. But they've got life jackets in the room, yeah, don't bother. Just follow their advice. It's the island that we saw at the start. Uh, just if you're in, if you like, yeah, it's nice. It's 24 7 all year round. This place is great, all right? That's why I've come here this time. But uh, if you're serious about uh, diving, it's fine. Diving is fine all year round. But if you're an amateur snorkeler and stuff, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's the pool. It's in the pool as well, yeah. Ready? See you later. All right. See you later. Show the biz. Sunset Bar and stuff. Westin Miriando Resort Maldives. Great place. No doubts. Best in the world. Ciao. some food. It's in the pool as well after breakfast. Well, it's welcome to our breakfast at the beach. Come down to the uh, pool at the Western Coast breakfast. Uh, so in the pool, it's the pool here. So uh, breakfast going on uh, to the left. Get in the pool. Pool to myself this time in the morning. On the beach, there's the uh, Japanese restaurant out there. Japanese restaurant and uh, 
I'm going to call it the Western. Yeah, it's the call it the Western people. This guy is uh, bringing you all in, he's bringing the world the Western. and then uh, a couple of length, lengths, lengths. Yeah, breakfast is going on in there. Just have uh, breakfast. Yeah. Lovely day as well. So the beach, we've got another uh, pool there. It's more for a uh, show than swimming. There's the other water villas. Um, staying straight ahead. Mine is that one there, you can see, right there. Yeah, the pool at the western, eh? Very nice. Nice uh, start to the day. At the beach. The water's a bit, uh, it's smoother than the pool, it's a bit choppy out there in the ocean. Let's go for a swim. So we'll confine ourselves to the, uh, the hotel pool. Alrighty, see you later. Two lengths, more than enough. Two minutes. Alrighty, pull up the western. Mirando Maldives. Ciao. Sunset happening uh, at the bar at all. Sunset in the bar at all. Uh, I'll take you in uh, take my pool at the western. Western Miranda. Uh, we've had a massive storm. Uh, you'll see. Look in the pool. Bar at all uh, western. We've had a massive storm. It's brilliant. World famous here in Biosphere Reserve. Uh, it's too choppy to go in. And sunset in the pool. The Alright. The ocean is the pool. Alright, so there's sports fans. Nice swim in the pool. And uh, I've got a uh, lovely uh, sunset happening just out here in the, uh, the bar at all. It's a beautiful sunset going on. Yeah, the storm has passed. And uh, I've turned the lights on as well, yeah, it's very nice. It's very nice. So, yeah. It's almost sunny. It's going to sleepy. Beautiful, eh? Nice. So welcome to the, uh, the Western uh, Mariandu Maldives. It's an absolutely gorgeous sunset. It's a gorgeous sunset uh, just over there. Uh, I'm staying in the uh, the top uh, overwater sunset suite. It's my villa just out there. It's all the uh, the overwater villas at dusk and the beach. The arrival jetty. Beach at dusk. Man, let's go for a drink at uh, Sunset Bar. Yeah, it's had an amazing uh, sunset. Look out there. Maria and Maldives. Sunset in the Maldives was a great sight. Say, is up there. 
I'm trying to get uh, Sunset Bar, very nice. I can't for a swim, yeah, why not? Go to the bar for a drink and uh, have a swim in the pool. Get, uh, same water. and dinner delivered. It's the uh, place at night. It's the food. And uh, it's the deck outside. But uh, before we uh, have a look at all that, uh, see how our fish friends are doing down here. The UNESCO Biosphere Reserve, the Bar Atoll. Uh, we've seen plenty of fish, yeah? There are lots of fish in there. There's one there, swimming past, yeah? So, Lovely, yeah? It's a nice uh, show around for dinner. Got some uh, salmon. It's like the fish that you just saw in the sea. Got some salmon. The salmon there. And uh, I've got some tuna curry. This is tuna curry. It's a great service the Western, yeah? Tuna curry, a bit of rice, poppadoms, bread rolls. Yeah, bread rolls. It's that fruit from earlier. The juice is the uh, tuna curry. And uh, the salmon. It's good food, eh? There's uh, lots of fish out in the sea. Yeah, it's place in the evening. Should you my deck? Feels nice on the deck. 
There's the ocean, that's where all the fish live that we're going to eat. Yeah, just like that. Mr. K is going to have dinner and eat some fish. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Alright, that was the uh, tour around uh, Western uh, Mariando Resort here in the Maldives and uh, with me in the pool and the sunset bar and uh, breakfast, dinner and uh, everything else. Uh, we'll see you on our travels. Around planet Earth. Time to uh, get on the plane. It's uh, time to get on the plane and uh, go back home for this holiday. Enjoy the stay and uh, see on our travels. All right. Oman and Qatar next. Oman and Qatar next. All right, ciao. From the Maldives. My second home. From home. We love you, Mr. Fishy, in the bar at all, a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. Ciao. Mr. K will be back.